Hi, and welcome to the Whisper part of Desert Treasure 2. The required item is only a ring of visibility. For the recommended items, maybe bring some food if you think you are going to go insane during the puzzles, but that is going to be unlikely. Then also approximately three stamina potions and at least seven empty inventory slots. For the teleports, none, except for maybe the exact amount of Lassar and Mind Alter teleports equal to the amount of failures you do at the boss. As for the boss, bring your best in slot magic rogues and staff, three prayer potions, one stamina, as well as a staff that can cast ice spells and some runes to cast ice spells, and the rest of the inventory should be some food. But that is not needed at the start of the quest because the boss room is still unlocked. Where we can unlock this boss room is here at the ruins of Kamdazal. We can simply get here by using a mind alter teleport and then simply run straight east. Or you could use a Lassar teleport requiring four water and two law runes to teleport yourself on the top of Ice Mountain and then simply climb down the rocks requiring 68 agility. Once you are ready for the puzzle, let's enter the ruins of Kamdazal and then run north. Here in the northwestern corner, there should be a dwarf called Ramarno. Let's talk to him. If the dwarf is not here, then you can simply skip this part. Next up, let's go north. And keep going north until you see an anvil sign. There, you should find the same dwarf. Talk to him again. Until you see a couple of options in the chat box. Once you see that, ignore it and go east. And go to the bank sign. In front of the bank sign, there should find two archaeologists. Talk to Prescott. Or Prescott. And also skip through this dialogue. Next up, let's run west. Be sure that you have gotten your very long rope. Keep going west until you see a T-junction and from there go north. North of the mining sign, keep following the path north until you see a rock conveniently at the edge of the abyss. Attach your rope on it by clicking on it and then climb down into the abyss. Next up, let's go a little bit southwest to the transportation sign and then click on the teleporter. Next up, go east until you see another transportation sign, activate that one as well. From there, go south. And keep going south to the next transporter. Activate that one as well. Next, go west and go around the building and enter the building just west of the teleporter. Go inside and enter the next room. And here you should find a shadow blocker schematic. Pick it off from the barrel and then let's go around. Exit the house and then make a anti-clockwise turn to the northwestern corner. Let's open the door just south and then take the shadow key in the northeastern corner of a crate. We will need this at the end of the puzzle. Next up, let's go back south. Go back south, then go a little east to the water sign. And from there, go south. And just south of it, southwest, you'll find a house with the entrance diagonally. Enter that building and there you'll find another key just east next to the entrance. Pick up that one as well. Right, let's go back northeast. We are done scavenging. 
let's return to the teleporter. And then select 2 to go to the plaza. From here, let's go east, south, east. To the next transporter. Unlock this one. And from here, go south. Keep going south until you get knocked out. From insanity, I think. Let's talk to Ketla. And keep pressing space. After that, select option 1. After that conversation is over, just a tile west, let's search the workbench and take it, a shadow blocker. Next, let's go south of the house and we'll find another transportation sign. Let's unlock this teleporter and then immediately use it and select number 4 to go north of the science district. Once we're here, let's go south. And south of the well, they'll find a door going east between the two wells. Open these doors and then go inside and try to open the next set of doors. But you will get an error message that the doors are locked, but you can't seem to find the keyhole. That is because the keyhole is in another realm. First off, let's place the shadow blocker, then go back outside. A little bit north, you've just passed it, they'll find a puzzle. I forgot to mention this at the start, but I recommend you to go to your display settings and then turn on your visibility to the maximum. This way you can decently see what the hell is going on. Let's use the puzzle and then make our way back to the door we have just came from. So open the door again and then try to open the next set of doors. Be sure to stand next to the shadow blocker and then try to open the door. Also, welcome to the shadow realm. In the shadow realm, you will find a sanity meter, which goes down by one every game tick. And every ghost attack also lowers your sanity by eight, nine or ten every attack. But as you can see, standing next to your shadow blocker will stop you from getting insane. Do not get your sanity meter to zero, else you will hear a little screech, and then you will take at the next game tick 5 damage. Then 2 ticks later, you will take 10 damage, then 2 ticks after that, you will take 15 damage, then 20, 25, and so on. So keep your sanity as high as possible. Once you have unlocked the door, let's go north to the furnace, and next to it, just east, you'll find a basic shadow torch schematic take it and then click on your blackstone fragment to leave the shadow realm once you've done that let's right click on the blackstone fragment and recall say yes and you'll get all your stuff back which is just a shadow blocker right once we have this let's go north to the teleporter and select number four next Go north and use the basic shadow schematic on Ketla. And keep pressing space. Search the workbench to find a torch. Take it. And we will need to upgrade this basic one twice. Next, let's run southeast to the building southeast of the center. A relatively big one. Try to open the doors, but it seems that they have blocked your path. Place your shadow blocker in front of the door, and then enter the shadow realm using the puddle just northwest. Next, go back to that door and you'll find some tentacles. Click on it to destroy. 
let's open the door and let's go north and here next to the northern wall you should find a revitalization idol schematic take that one and then activate your black stone fragment once you have the schematic let's go east and open the door again and next let's go to the next teleporter just east activate that one then immediately use it and type in 42 next go north and they'll find Ketla. use a schematic on her and once the conversation is over let's search the workbench for the next item once you have this uh, right click on the black fragment and don't forget to recall and get your shadow blocker back go south and let's use the teleporter again and use teleportation option 4 2 go north to the southeastern corner of the next building doesn't really matter where but i like it in the southeastern corner place your revitalization idol and then continue north northwest to the next set of doors in the northwestern corner let's try to open these doors but you will be blocked place your shadow blocker here and then go back all the way to the teleporter Pause it, go through the house, and then use the puddle in front of the house to enter the Shadow Realm. Then we'll need to make our way as fast as possible to the Revitalization Idol. Before our sanity gets sunk. Let's use the revitalization idol to get 50% more sanity and then follow the path. Let's go to the shadow blocker and try to destroy the tentacles in front of the door. Once destroyed, enter and go to the northwestern room. Pick up the shadow key on the southeastern tile. And then activate your fragment to leave the shadow realm with the key. Next up, let's run west and go to the pub just south of Ketla's uh, location. Open the door and you'll see that the doors are locked. Let's right click and recall the blackstone fragment to get our two stuffs back. And place the shadow blocker in front of the door. Let's run back east and enter the Shadow Realm. Once we are in the Shadow Realm, go back to the pub. Try to pick lock the door while standing next to the Shadow Blocker. Once inside, you'll see a superior Shadow Torch schematic just laying on a table just south. We will need to take that one. Unlock the door and take the schematic. Activate the blackstone to relieve the shadow realm. Next, Let's return to Ketla, so she will make the superior Shadow Torch use a schematic on her. And take the torch. Yeah, take it. Go south and use the teleporter. Option 4-1. Let's run south south of the building with the two fountains and the two furnaces south of it they'll find the next teleporter also the last one activate that one from here go north and use the puddle between the two fountains 
go to the Shadow Realm, and from here, go west. Go back to where we've gotten our first key. Go back to the northwestern corner. And instead of going south, go north, up the stairs, and you'll find a tentacle. Destroy it. Once destroyed, go to the southeastern corner of the northern part. Go north, and on the floor in the southeastern corner, they'll find the schematic. Quickly activate the fragment to leave the Shadow Realm. Once we have the next schematic, let's go northeast, use the teleporter, option 5-2. And then use the schematic on Ketla. Let's take the next item, the anime portal. Go south and use the teleporter. Option number four. Just go a couple of tiles north and try to open a door, but something is blocking you. Let's first right click and recall the black stone to get our stuff back. Then place the shadow blocker. Then go south. And next to the water sign, use that puddle again to enter the shadow realm and then go to your shadow blocker in front of that door. Destroy the tentacles in front of the door, then open the door, go inside, go north, follow the room to the next door on your west, Open it, then close it, because ghosts cannot go through doors. Go a little bit north, and they'll find the next shadow key on the table. Take it, and leave the shadow realm. Let's go back to the teleporter, and select option 1 to go to the palace. Once we're here, let's go south of the big throne let's right click and recall the black stone to get our shadow blocker back here let's go to the northwestern side behind the throne they'll find a chest try to open it but it is locked let's put our shadow blocker in front of it and then go a little bit south Next up, we're going to be placing the revitalization idol. I'd like to place it somewhere around the southern side of the throne, here on the purple square. The next one is a little bit more important. Let's go north of the throne, and I'd like to place this somewhere around the edge of the purple square. Let's go back south, and use the teleporter. Select option 1. And then a little bit south, they should find another puddle. Use it to go to the Shadow Realm. And then let's run northwest to the Revitalization Idol to get 50% sanity back. Also, let's look around to see that every ghost is attacking the Anima Portal. If so, then it is placed correctly. If not, then you will need to activate the Blackstone and place the Anima Portal somewhere else. Once we've done that, in front of the two big pillars, we'll find two braziers. Light those, then also light south of the chest, and also light the next one north of the chest. I needed to put the shadow blocker there. You fucking idiot! Once all four have been lit, we are able to unlock the chest. Next up, let's activate the black stone. Let's use the teleporter up north and use the option 5-2. And let's use a schematic on Ketla. And she will say that this one is a fake. So we will need to do some more stuff.
Next, let's run southeast to the southeast and pedal. And on our way there, let's recall our stuff. Let's use the pedal to go inside of the Shadow Realm and then go west into the pub where we've just gotten the superior schematic from. Open the door and go north this time and go up the stairs just west behind the counter. From there, go north and enter the northern room and you'll find a remnant. Touch it and keep pressing space. After the conversation is over, activate the Blackstone to exit the Shadow Realm. Let's wait for our sanity to reach 100% and then enter the Shadow Realm again. Let's go southwest, west of the southern teleporter, and burn these tentacles. Go a little bit more west and destroy the next tentacles. After that, go inside. Take the shadow key in the southern room in the northeastern corner. Use the fragment to exit the shadow realm. Then let's go northwest, back to the teleporter, and use 5 1. Let's run north and enter the Shadow Realm. Once entered, we will need to go back south. Let's go back to the teleporter. Just east of the teleporter, they'll find some more tentacles that we can destroy. Do so and open the door. Go inside and close the door because ghosts can't enter. Open the door again and there you should find a chest on the eastern side. Search it to find the first icon segment. Let's activate the Blackstone and then go north and use that teleporter. Use option 5 and 2. Whoops, I forgot one thing to do. Let's go back southeast to the southeastern puddle. Let's enter the Shadow Realm there and we'll need to go back southwest Instead of going to the big house to get the key, you will also need to go enter the small house. Close the door and open the chest. Right, now we have the second icon. Let's activate the blackstone use both segments on each other and now we are able to enter the drain in the center of the residential area let's do so to go even deeper into the abyss we're not done here let's go north and open the gate let's go east and there we'll find a ladder let's go even deeper into the abyss Let's go west and touch the ancient pillar in the center of this room. Right, after that insane cutscene is over and we're back at Ketlas, let's continue through the conversation and then search the workbench to take the perfected Shadow Torch. Let's run southeast and let's enter the Shadow Realm for the last time. From there, let's go south. 
and let's go back to where we have gone insane at the start of this part and here you'll find some tentacles destroy them to unlock the boss room activate the fragment to leave the shadow realm for the last time except for during the boss fight let's go to any teleporter and use option one to the palace then let's climb up the rope to go to the bank of Kamdazal to prepare for the boss fight. On our way to the bank, we may destroy everything. The perfect shadow torch. The shadow blocker is not needed. The revitalization idol is not needed. And the anime portal is also not needed. The thing that is needed is the blackstone fragment. That is really important. And the things that we can deposit in our bank would be the leftover food, the ring of visibility, the stamina potions, and the weight reducing clothing. So instead, let's bring our best in slot magic staff and your best in slot magic equipment that you can afford. Then also bring one stamina potion and then three or four prayer potions. Then also bring some ice spells to prevent the boss from using his melee after every special attack then to make this easier bring a staff which can auto cast ice spells and then for the rest of the inventory should be some good food maybe also bring some combo food like karam ones what i'm not going to be bringing along but sipping a dose at the bank is going to be a battle mage potion and if you can't afford that one you could also drink a regular magic potion or a forgotten brew with a super defense potion. And as for the quick prayers, I'm gonna set protect from missiles and mystic might. And once you think you are ready to take on the Whisperer, let's run west. Let's make our way back to the Lazar Undercity. Use the teleporter option 2 to the cathedral and make our way to the sunken cathedral in the regular world to start the boss fight. To initiate the boss battle, simply disturb the odd figure in the center of the room. And then phase 1 will start. It is either ranged, 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 step away and then attack the boss. Or it is magic, 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 step away and attack the boss. After the third attack, you will see that there are 4 tentacles spawning. Simply step away to avoid getting hit by the aqua jet attack. If you do get hit, then your sanity will be drained and you will need this during the enraged phase, so try not to mess up. If you get hit by the ranged or the mage, then this will not drain your sanity. Keep doing this until the first special attack. And these are always in a random order. The first one is when the boss teleports to the south and there will be some pillars shown. Quickly click on the black stone fragments to enter the shadow realm and they will see the health of all the pillars. You will need to stand behind the pillar with the lowest health. Then the boss will do an attack and destroy that pillar. Then you will need to move to the next weakest pillar. This is a really easy part and I hope that this special attack is the final one because during this special attack you can easily turn off your prayer, drink a prayer potion and heal up if needed. After the first special it is phase 2. This is the same as phase 1, just the third attack is different from the first two. This is either ranged, ranged, magic, step away and attack 
or it is magic, magic, range, step away and attack. Keep doing this until the second special, the ghosts. Activate the fragment to be able to see the ghosts and then hit two ghosts that shout Vita. You could hit multiple ghosts if you use a blowpipe or a venerator bow and you will get some additional benefits. But be sure to kill the two ghosts that shout Vita, else the boss will heal. Once again, after the special is over, move away as fast as possible and then get ready to freeze the boss before you get to melee distance. After the second special, it is once again phase 2. This is still ranged, ranged, magic, move away and attack, or magic, magic, ranged, move away and attack. The only difference here is that the tentacles move a little bit differently. Do this until the third special. The second special is when there are a lot of orbs on the ground. Activate the fragment and then run onto all the light green tiles. And run onto all the tiles of the light green circles. But be sure to not stand on the dark green circles else you'll take damage. After the third special it will be phase 3. Then the attack style will be magic, ranged, magic, move, attack. Or ranged, magic, ranged, move, and attack. Do this until the boss's health reaches zero. And once it reaches zero HP, then the enraged phase will start. It will be a little bit difficult, but during phase three, try to heal up as well as drink some prayer potions before the boss hits 0 HP. Once the Whisperer's HP hits 0, then it will heal 100 HP and the Enrage phase will start. Use protect from ranged and move. Then the boss will attack you twice with ranged. Keep moving every tick. Do not stand still during the enraged phase. Else the aqua jets will keep attacking you, losing your sanity and you will simply die once your sanity reaches zero. After two ranged projectiles, the boss will do two magic projectiles. Use protect from magic, move, attack, Move, attack, protect from ranged, move, attack, move, attack, protect from magic, move, attack, move, attack, protect from ranged. Do this until the boss is defeated. I got it. I actually got it. Really? I spent like three hours yesterday from midnight to 3 a.m. not getting it. I just did it the next morning, first attempt, and I actually managed to get it. I have really messed up the enraged phase. If you do this with the real boss, not the quest version, then you would definitely die. So let's pick up the loot and next to it you should find some entrails. Search it for the medallion. Once we have this, if it is your final medallion, then do not teleport to Narda and go to the Ancient Vault. Because first off, we will need to do another boss first. So if it is your final medallion, then first let's go to any bank. I forgot my emergency teleport, so I'm gonna quickly go to the bank of Camdazal. If it is your first, second or third medallion, then you can simply make your way to Narda and place a medallion on the northwestern statue. Just watch out for the mysterious stranger. If it is also your fourth medallion, then the next five bosses in this quest will be in the next part of this video. Okay, thanks, bye.